fast, babe I just wanna feel everything I wanna feel the wind on my skin I wanna feel the wind on my skin I wanna feel the wind up when the beach another wonderful video guys we're still in the series not in the series we're going to be looking at another kind of style design where we're going to be um, making our hips more pronounced with this style easy simple straightforward we don't need to talk too much let's just get right into this video I have my bodice pattern up onto the half length that's my waist length okay because there's going to be a joining on there the front and the back in the full scale. So I have my fabric here. This is um, the Ankara fabric I'll be using in the infusion of the style. And then I have this crepe fabric. This is about two yards of crepe. This will be for the main blouse. And this Ankara, you need about one yard or one and a half yard. It will create the flare that we're gonna be putting on the side. So let us begin, please. All right, guys, so I have my bodice pattern in the full scale, okay? Our shoulder that and waist that has been included. Okay, so by the way, those on the membership already have a very detailed um, way to do this bodice. It's quite easy from the scratch, okay? But if you are not there, don't worry, you're not missing out on anything. Sincerely, you're not let's go on so what we're going to do now is we're going to close up the shoulder darts okay we're closing up the shoulder darts and we're transferring it to the waist dart you're not a pebble beach anymore and now we're reaching 24. amazing now that this pattern has relaxed we can then work on the asymmetric neckline for the asymmetric neckline i'll come to this top here and I just want to measure about three or four inches, how low I want it to get to. I'll just do three and a half in between there. And then I'm going to draw a shape up onto this neck with here. This is where I want the neck point to start from. So I'll just draw a shape. Used to be interlaced, could I bear in my mind? That is no longer my eyes, that he yours and yours only. So this is what we'll be having for the front bodies. The waist that is what we'll be sewing. And I'm just cutting one piece of this. I'm cutting one piece of this and this is my front. Let's move over to the back. For the back pattern, what I'm going to do is, you know, we have a separation on the back there. It's not just one full back. I'm just going to place this, I'll fold one of these uh, zipper allowance. I want the zipper allowance to still be there so that when I'm cutting on my fabric, it's easy. I'm matching up the line of the zipper allowance to the second one. I see we were sewing, sewn together. So this is what I'm doing. I want it to just be one single piece. I'll use um, paper tape to hold it at some places so that it doesn't move when I start um, drafting. Okay, so yeah. I think it's okay that way. So what I'm going to do is, remember this is like a one shoulder, it's a one shoulder outfit we're making. I'm going to take the front of my pattern, right? Put it front side. This is the front side. This is the front side. Put it front side facing front side like this. Match up where the shoulders match up. And then you just want to trace. If you want the back to be high up, right? You can increase your hand and make it up. But if you want it to have the same um, depth as the front, just follow what you have on the front. In this case, I'm going to mark from here. Okay, and then I'll just um, merge it into here. Okay, I want the back to be a little up than the um, front. So 
I'll just follow it this way. It's very important when you're doing this that you are putting in right sides to right side. If not, you will have, if you just do it anyhow, you'll be having um, a front and back that the, it's all going to match up. So here I will just, um, just chop up that pointiness. I chopped up that pointiness here. So this is what I have for the back. I can then unpin. I mean, remove this my paper tape for the back. At the back too, I have this waist that here. If I do not want the waist that on the back, I can just remove it from the sides and then the back will not have any that. But I'll leave the waist that there. When I'm cutting, I need to rem oh, um, open up this zipper and cut on the fabric. So this is what I have for the upper part of the dress. Let's move over to the lower part. For the lower part, I'm not using patterns. I'll just do it directly on the fabric. All right, so for the upper part bodies, remember that we stopped at the half length. So for the lower part of the bodies, it's going to continue from that half length up onto where my gown will stop, the length of my gown. So um, from 18 inches, I'll put my paper tape at the top here and put 18 inches there and then measure it to where I want the gown to stop. The length of my gown is actually 54 inches. I'll make it 56 inches. Mark where my shoulder to hip line gets to. It's about 27 inches for me. If I'm going to be doing any shaping on the knee, that will be at about the 36 inch point. I'm marking that there. That's for the knee shaping. So now I can put my measurements. First things first, my waist circumference divided by four. I put that at the top. What my waist is um, 35 inches divided by four is 8.75. 8.75, but I'm still going to put a um, sewing allowance of one inch. So I'll do 9.75 there. On the hip line, my hip is 44 divided by 4 is 11 plus 1 inch sewing allowance. That's 12. Mark it there. Um, on this knee line, I'm going to subtract 1 inch from that 12. Make it 11 for just shaping it there. Okay. And then still mark that same 11 at the bottom. Okay. So that's what we have. This is waist divided by four, hip divided by four, shaping of the knee up onto the bottom. So it's penciled all the way down. I'm going to join these points together. Beautiful. So this is the front. I'll cut this out. All right, so I'll just take my front. I do not need to do any um, measurement again. I'll take my front and place it on that line there. Okay. Make sure this center front line matches up with the zip line that I drew at the back. Make sure it's very important that it matches up. So once everything matches up, I will just cut the exact shape that I have there. That's all. All right, guys, so we want to quickly cut the flare that we're going to be putting on the side of this dress. Um, you're going to put your front right because the flare is going to be attached on this bottom part of the dress. I'm going to put my measuring tape from the top here, measure the length up onto the bottom. Up onto the bottom is 38 inches, but I just want to subtract 4 inches. Why am I subtracting 4 inches? Remember, we have 2 inches for the hem, sewing and all of that. So, I'll make it 34 inches, okay? 34 inches long. And then, I'm going to do 34 divided by 6.28 because I'm doing a full circle. Can do divided by 3.14, whichever one works best for you. I'm going to fold this fabric into two, okay, um, I'm going to be needing like 
four pieces of that flare why four i need two one that will be for like the um it's like it has a lining so instead of using a regular lining i'm going to be using this fabric to to line it as well so i need four pieces of that 34 inches long flare okay so fold it into two fold it again this way okay um then fold it again i'm gonna fold it this way again smoothing everything straighten everything to look good okay so once i have this i can start um measuring okay so how do i mark out i've divided and i'm going to be using five inches as my radius from here i'll mark five inches five inches round for my radius and then from there i have about seven inches left which is just perfect for me so i'll use seven inches as the width of this flare So this is just one of it that will be on one side. I need to cut another of this um, piece. Alright guys, so at the end of the day, we have cut every single thing up. You can use a facing on the neckline. Okay, I have my front back, the two bottom pieces, the flare and the sleeve. The sleeve is going to be a puffy one, okay. The flare, everything is ready. It's time for us to mix up this ingredient and create a masterpiece. Alright guys, so we have the flare cut already. I mean sewn together already. So this piece, these two pieces will be going into the front. Here's the front. Okay. Um, I'm going to be attaching this. Right? Just by this side from the top to wherever I want it to get to I will sew it this way make sure that the right side is inside the cloth and then the side here see that it's into two it's been sewn and turned so I'll start sewing it from here into here all the way to the top um, bottom I mean right so it's going to stay there and then I do the same thing for this other side. Take the second piece, start pinning from that waistline. If you want it to come above the waistline, it's fine. But you start pinning from the waistline all the way to the top. All the way to the bottom, I mean. Right, so once you've done that for the two sides, uh, this will be already attached as one piece. Then we'll get our back. For the back piece, I've sewn in the zipper, I've put the slit at the bottom, sewn in the zipper and it's looking good. So for the back piece, I'll just match it up, right side facing right side, join the shoulder up, join the sides up, up onto the bottom and then we'll do the neckline hemming and fix the sleeve. The sleeve we're using is a puff sleeve. Okay, so I'll just sew this in, puff it as much as I want to. Then if I want to use elastic at the bottom, put the elastic there so that it's puff. Okay, so that's just it though. It's simple. Let me know if you have any question at this stage. I'll just go on to sew it. The next part will be seeing the finished look of this dress. Alright guys, we have come to the end of this tutorial. I did not use lining inside. I made sure it looks so neat and beautiful. Um, I'm going to iron it properly once done, but this is how everything is looking. Let me know if this video was helpful and if you're going to be trying it out. 
let me also know if you like how it looks on me <laughs> i'd love to read from you and to know your feedback okay all right guys so till we see in the next tutorial do not forget to subscribe do not forget to give me a huge thumbs up comment below till we see in the next tutorial stay safe god bless you all bye